is divided. The little opportunity you have to escape is now. And you must make full use of the opportunity. No harm should be hap should occur to Sunday Boho. No harm should occur to our leader Mazin Namdekano. No trial should occur. Mazin Namdekano should be released unconditionally without delay. This is what I expect from international community. They knowing the law, they knowing the international rules and regulations must understand that abduction against your will is not in good terms with the international rules and guidelines. Even if he comes to court, you don't have anything against him. These are your charges. These are the lies you trumped up. And you have your own people committing ten times the crime that you are fighting against. They are not being prosecuted. Therefore, what are your agendas? If your own people can commit these crimes across the board, down to the seashores of the south, they are not being questioned. Why are you after Mazin Namdekano and Sondi Buho? Our leader must be released unconditionally and set free. Because you cannot go and kidnap somebody. You don't have uh, authority. You don't have any evidence. And you say you are trying him. Based on what? Let's look at Britain. Um, they are making moves, uh, telling you that they are providing um, care, assistance. Is that all? Is that, uh, to be honest with you, is that what the language should be? Is that what the order should be? Who is the guy, Namdekano? Who is he, a British citizen? What did he do? Nothing. Why is he under lock and keys? Because he spoke for his freedom and freedom of his people. Is that a crime? Britain. If you are not part of this, at least we know um, what you could have said. He must be released unconditionally at such and such a date or else. No. Being that you are the godfather and the godmother of Nigeria, you won't do it. You will act as if nothing happened. Do you remember when Nandi was in Kuje? How many times did you visit him? You saw all the attempts made to kill him, both in the jail and at his home. What did Britain do? Nothing. They watched with interest, wishing, crafting, planning that he dies there. Miraculously, he escaped. But Britain, the mistake you're making is this. We appreciate your efforts, but it's not good enough. It is not good enough. Now, it's only now. You knowing that we know your activities. You knowing that we know your double standard. We knowing that you are the architect. You are responsible for what is happening to Ali Damazin Namdekano. You can claim that your hands are clean. Many of us don't buy it. For the fact that as of today, you have not issued a statement demanding for unconditional, immediate release of our leader. If they want to try him, 
they should come to his country, Britain. He is a British citizen. They should apply. They should have applied initially for him to come back and start trial. And then we know there will be a guideline. Then we know that the international community has interest in it. Justice must be across the board. Britain, if Nambikano were to be a white British citizen, I know your Harrier jets will be uh, along the coast ready for action. Britain, you conducted referendum to exit Brexit, European Union. Theresa May was there. Was that a crime? You wanted what was good for Britain and you executed it. You gave the people free will to say their opinion, to say their mind. Why then is that of Nandikano a crime? Britain, I'll ask you, if Biafra comes today, will you not gain from the existence of Biafra? For the birth of Biafra, will you not gain from it? After all, we belong to the Commonwealth. Britain, will you not, ex will you not gain from the existence of Biafra? The birth of Biafra. After all, what percentage of Biafrans are Christians, are Anglicans, are Methodists, are Roman Catholics? Britain, religion alone is a crucial factor to dissolve Nigeria. Religious factor alone. Why the complicity? Why the muteness? Conspiracy. The evidence is there. And then you come back to our youth, to our young men. These politicians are your killers. They are responsible for what is happening to you. They are the ones handing you over to the Fulanis. And you will be foolish enough to immerse yourself in any political engagement as we speak. Now you know they are not your friends. Now you know they are not thinking for your best interest. Now you know they are out to sell you, sell your future and that of your children to come. And when you hear them say proscribed, all over the world, it is only your enemies that proscribed you and you accepted their prescription. Where does that leave you? Does that show that you are thinking very well? Now I am happy. I am happy based on the fact that these people, these are young men, these are young women, these are mothers and fathers, now know the lies they have been telling you about IPOB. Now they know that IPOB is a general term. You, as an Igbo, you are IPOB. And they will frame you. They will lie against you. When they shoot your son, they say he is IPOB. He is a unknown gunman. What happened in Ladipo a few days ago is another example. No matter where you are, they will come after you. But their surprise is what they went after. Our leader, Mazin Namdekano. Uh, they thought when they arrest him, when they abduct him, when they commit a um, uh, uh, rendition act, <coughs> uh, they thought, oh, okay, IPOB will know. But I'm um, sorry to tell them that uh, Namdekano is a peaceful individual. 
there are more active ones. There are more of the Namdekanos that will not follow the peaceful tracks is following. And that is why the fallen is whatever their population is 60 million against 75 million do the math you will come down to fight 60 million against 75 million you will not win you will not win I guarantee you, you will not win. I cannot see anybody that will take his father's land and hand over to you because you are Fulani. And those politicians from Biafra land from the south that have decided to sabotage and sell their own people, we guarantee you the tide is against you. The people are no longer interested in your political activities. And now you see, next year is 2022, the game is over. And you think 2023 is three years? No. This is July. Now the INEC is telling you who will vote and who will not vote, who will be a candidate and who will not be a candidate. And then you have the House. They have put something in place. Oh, we will publish results electronically. Rigging election is beginning. Oh, they staged the workout. Walk out from where to where. And the next minute they came in, we have passed it. We have passed the bill. And they go back. And siphon your money. We are. We are. <laughs> we are responsible. Uh, if you don't know, let me give you an example of what Nigeria Electoral Body released the list of candidates for November 6th poll on Friday. Anambra poll, INEC omits Soludo PDP from candidates list. As well as People's Democratic Party from the candidates list for the Anambra Governorate, INEC. Who is going to participate? They can, they can publish as many candidates as they want. You, the voter. You, the voter, will decide. No voting, no election. They can go to hell with the election. With your experience, with the incidents that have been happening to you. Now is the time. Anything short of referendum is unacceptable. The South must rise. The Middle Belt must, must rise. That democratic gimmick should come to an end. Britain and the international community if you look at what is happening if you look at the conspiracies if you look at the maltreatment of freedom fighters people that speak about their democratic rights you cannot, for any reason, 
entertain any trial of our leader, Mazin Namdekano. If they step inside that courtroom, the question is, why is he here? Did you get him through the right means? Is kidnapping allowed? Did you engage in terroristic act? If you did, there will be no trial because you, commit, you committed international crime and we, the international community, will not be a part of it. Therefore, you must release him and turn him over to us. They have exposed themselves. They have put themselves in a position. You cannot continue to leave the same people doing the same thing. If you don't uh, get what I said, let me say it from the beginning. NBC orders radio TV stations to stop reporting details of insurgent attacks. The National Broadcasting Corporation Commission has directed broadcast stations in Nigeria to stop reporting the details of attacks by bandits and insurgents. Headlines of most of newspapers on a daily basis are repl replete with security topics. NBC Director of Broadcast Monitoring, Francisca Ayetan, said in a letter to broadcast stations, while bringing information on security to the doorsteps of Nigeria is a necessity, there is a need for caution as too many details may have an adverse implication on the efforts of our security officials who are duty bound to deal with the insurgency and they killed your major general in Abuja and you said don't report it what the government they, they, they have taken over Bruno installed the, their governors don't report it they attacked Sukutu don't report it. But you will bomb a village in the southeast and your newsmen will say they are going after ESN. <laughs> what a country. What a country. Who is fooling who? They have their own um, way of defending their terrorists. They stand and defend their terrorists, and then you stand to prosecute your own son, who is not a terrorist, who was detained for speaking for you, who you sold out for asking for your safety. one of the gravest crimes in international law extraordinary rendition Nigeria is acting as if they did nothing they will learn I am calling on Britain to once in their lifetime put themselves in a position where the relationship with their friends can be a little bit managed for future reconciliation. They cannot continue to jeopardize our relationship with them. These same people, I'm trying to point out these things in a nutshell in a circle with dot so that that dot will be you they're expecting you to come and engage in electoral fraud that's working against you 
working against your interest, working against your future, come and vote. 2019, you voted. Today, what is happening? Uh, they were going to give you a, a certain president, and they are telling you it's not going to happen. They have their brothers from Sahel in your region. They have put their own system in place. Boronu alone will outvote you. This is why you must not double into this electoral share. Boronu alone will and is going to outvote you. The presidency goes back to the north. You're asking me it will never happen. They have established their government there. And come time for election, Boronu will be their headquarters. I swap. You see the game. They will cover Sokoto. But the federal government is telling you. Uh, federal lawmakers uh, had a rowdy session as debates over the inclusion of electronic transmission of results in the Electoral Act Amendment took center stage in Abuja. What did they come up with? Nothing. We can't guarantee 100% safety. That is the end of your election. That is the end of the result you will get. They don't guarantee nothing. So whatever they transmit to you, that's the result. And then somebody will in, from Britain will come and tell you the election is credible. You see the activities of Britain. Anything short of Ududua Republic, you're in a mess. Anything short of Biafra, you're in a mess. And this will be the end of you. I don't care which way you do it. I don't care what you think you are going to achieve. What you have not achieved for over 100 years, and now their plan is clearer than ever. Nobody should be talked into falling into this trap again. Our leader must be released unconditionally. This is the way we see it. And this is what the international community will pay attention to. It is only them. Those that don't want you to serve, survive are telling you that they proscribed you. Have you ever asked your question, how come we are everywhere? We are not being tagged. As terrorists, how come it is only the Fulanis that attack you, uh, terrorists, with the help of your brothers? And why don't you ask yourself, who are these your brothers? They are your fathers, they are your chiefs, they are your egos, that they are Jesus that are in the peril of the Fulanis. <coughs> in the meantime, they have sold you. The call number is plus one. 484 767 0848 plus 1 484 767 0848 live broadcast from Radio Biafra USA for over 100 years no peace they become bolder they don't address you like a human being. When they address you, they say you must. And they exhaust your resources to better themselves. They do everything in their power 
to squander you like they are squandering money because you have no voice you have no voice call her your name and where are you calling from Call her your name and where you calling from. Call her your name and where you calling from. Hello, Mazelo. My name is Chinyere Apu. I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Chinyere Apu, good morning. I'm originally, good, good morning, sir. Originally from Oba, and then Oba is in Abia Province, Biafra land. All hail Biafra. I want to salute all our dear friends, brothers and sisters all over the world. I want to greet, first of all, Chukwu Kikadiyama, you know, for reserving our lives, and especially the lives of our Onyendunwa Chine Kemazunam Bekamo. I know that the angels of God are ministering unto him. They are protecting him. They are taking care of him. And we all continue to put him in prayers and victory is going to be ours at the end of the day. We should testify about all this temptation. Remember, just like he, he, he knew all the things were going to happen. He said for us to read from the book of Psalms chapter 1 all the way to 150. You see, can you now imagine the victory God is going to give to him and he's already doing that. All right, greetings everyone. Um, Marzi, I want to announce about our second upcoming um, rally. We did one last week, and next week we're going to be doing another one. Um, that will be July 23 at the British Embassy. Uh, we're calling on everyone, friends, lovers of freedom, Marzi, the candlelight. We all invite our Dodua brothers and sisters, our Ambazonians, our Black Americans, African Americans, and all people from different race to join us on this free number candle mega rally that will be coming up July 14th. Please come on, everybody. Let's hit it again. Let's do it again. It is, it is so remarkable. And we're going to do it again. Mazin and the camel must be free. The danger with terrorist governments do not have any right to detain our leader. You know, it is a crime for the extraordinary rendition which they did. They should be in jail themselves, you know, because Nigeria is a terrorist organization. They are working with Boko Haram Eastward, um, all the terrorist groups in Nigeria. And let me speak to Umi Igbo. I say our Igbo people, if you guys do not wake up now, I wonder when you are going to wake up. Because Oga, Oga, Fionunisi, Oga, Fionunisi, you all need to protect your own. Okay? When you want to kulite, let's do this together. There's no point for you to now be antagonizing against your own person. Who is fighting for your freedom? It doesn't make sense. The Fulanese, the terrorists, they are there protecting their own. And you all are here trying to persecute the righteous man who, who is here to deliver all of you and your generation. Wherever you are, all over the world, this is, this is a slap on everybody's face. As far as you're a Biafran, it is a slap on your face. Kulite. And also, Nigerian government should leave Sandy Boho alone. He is a freedom fighter. It's not a crime to redeem your people from all your nonsense. Leave him alone. He didn't commit no crime. Nigeria government, leave Sunday Boho alone. Okay? You all are evil. And that is why Nigeria should not exist. The country in Nigeria has expired. Britain. Britain, you must leave Sunday Ibo and Mazin and the Kano alone. Tell your terrorist government of Nigeria to leave them alone. Break the country. It's inhabitable. These terrorists have hijacked the government of Nigeria. It's inhabitable. We are Christians. We are not full any terrorists. 
leave us alone. Let us go. Thank you, Marzi. God bless you, sir. You see, okay? All hell be up for. Yeah, well. Um, <clears throat> no election. What happened in Anambra yesterday is an example of what we're talking about. And um, our people should take, borrow from that, and she'll be all over Biafra land. What happened in Anambra should be an example. How and what should be done? Call her your name and where you call it from. Good morning from here. Yeah, she's a better. She's a better. Calling from a new body. Hello. We are listening to you. Go ahead. Okay. God bless you, sir. God bless all of you that are doing his best. God bless all of you. God bless everybody who supports freedom all over the world. God bless everyone who loves our leader, Aze, Nadikano, Hamadike, and Kembo. God bless you all. My prayer is for my leader, my Messiah. My hand is on the ground, and I say that, Anagi Kibu Yobuna, let Nadikano, Hamadike, Anagi Kibu, let the land fight against them. They are fighting against our leader and our freedom. Let the land swallow them. Let God of Peter deliver our leader as he did in the past. God, I pray, save my leader for me, save my leader for their father. Save my leader for the world, for Africa at large. God, I pray that you protect all of us, protect our leader. Nothing will harm him. And I pray that you send your angel to hear him now, to protect him, guide him. He will live for us, he will live for Biafra. He will live for you, the Almighty. God, to God, I pray that God will have His way. And the land begin to swallow them that want to kill our leader. All of them that have who no we perform against our leader will prosper. As it is in your word, O God. So shall it be. The book to God, I pray. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Call her your name and where you're calling from. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Is that Radio Biafra? Yes. Okay. And I want to thank you guys for the good work you people are doing. And I want to urge all our students. You see, there is something it's really good people are doing, and which is very bad. Everybody just seeing everything that is happening and nobody is seeing anything. And I want to say that our problems are caused by our elite. Those stupid people we call our elite, they are the problem. They are the ones that are pulling us out. And until we start dealing with them, that them all the remaining ones among them we know their lessons. We all know where the father's house is. We know their central house is. We know their houses in the villages. We can start from there, start burning everything down so that those of them, those other ones, will learn their lessons and they will start speaking the truth. That's my contribution. Thank you very much. Call out your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Go ahead. You are live. Go ahead. Okay. Are you hearing me? Maz, go ahead. We are hearing you. Okay, Maz, I love you. Good morning, Maz. I love you. My name is Tukwe Manuel. I'm a native of Chicago. Land. 
I greet my leader, our leader, Mazinam the Khanum, for a time like this. I want to start to talk to British. This is very, very unfortunate that British created Nigeria and used Fulanese to destroy all the ethnic group in Nigeria. Why British will not divide Nigeria now? Whatever is necessary for British and Biafra to do as a human being, we do it so that people who are living in that place as a human being will be a human being. Look at how Fulani has turned Nigeria to be a criminal country. Look at how criminal Nigeria has been in every corner. If you want to know Nigeria, go to each of the villages now. All the youths in all the whole village are now criminals in Nigeria. Talkless of township. Because of the type of government, Fulani government in Nigeria. Because Fulani are known by criminality. Terrorists is a Fulani handwork. Fulani don't know anything about trading. Fulani don't know anything about business. Fulani don't know anything about office. The office they know to cover is to stay at the head of affairs where the money is and steal the whole money. You may be surprised one day they will tell Fulani they will tell you that there's no money in Central Bank of Nigeria. And it will come as a, as a news. And Ruben Abati, who claimed to be a, a journalist in Nigeria, will not say it. What Ruben Abati know how to say anything about IPOB and then I'm the colonel. And the Eastern Security Network. That is what Ruben Abati, that idiot, who claimed that he know all, don't mind. Your time is coming. The full enemy will cut your head and destroy your family. At the end of the race, because you are evil journalists in Nigeria. You are one of them. All of you who are defending full enemy to take over Nigeria, it will be a time. Those money you collected will be the end of you. Look at what is going on all over the whole Nigeria. And the media, none of them is saying it. What they are after is IPOB, Nam de Kano. IPOB, Nam de Kano. What they share, a country. I think we have come to the, to the highest point now. Now we have come to this stage of law. Because the international court and the uh, uh, European and uh, the and the other courts, according to Ikechuku, that introduced um, United Nations. There was a, 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 a group in United Nations. Security Council. I think they are preparing the whole document to go there. I think the British will come there. British is supposed to be involved in this uh, plan. This is supposed to be involved when we reach to that point. We will hear the whole story where it's going. If they fail to give the order to allow our leader to release our leader, then that court, the United Nations, will involve British. That place is where the whole thing will end. Thank you very much, Mazalogie, for your, uh, all your effort every day on this journey. Chukotka Diama is your friend.
Thank you very much. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, we, we have a uh, news like that. I don't. Um, it's, it's not that it's not correct. Uh, when in international thing yes. is so confusing, you know. Uh, so it's so confusing that I wait till the last minute uh, before I, I comprehend what they are saying, because uh, their political activities, their political political talks. Yes, caller, go ahead. Yes, my dear lady, I hear you, sir. I hear you. I hear you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Make I keep my phone. Oh, my dear lady. You know, say our radio, our radio, not the talk for over a week and then. But we must continue. My dear lady, you see, the oh, oh, but the the. Mhm. The Africans all over the world. May the peace of the Almighty to go to Kadiama, the Creator of every creation. That God that will bear His name. May he peace dwell upon every one of us. Everywhere that he has scattered us. He is the one that scattered us. He is the one that is bringing us back. By setting our leader, the most precious, the most, the most of all the most. He just put it inside the and All of us, we don't know. Father of my church, you never see him. They don't care for you, and I never see them. To go to Canada, my business. I've said this from the beginning. We are moving to the end. You see, Fulani, Fulani, we know the big United Nations. They will believe you, 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 they our father put you there. You did there, they see with your eyes. Since that time, when we just talk, can you pull a need? Where are we going to tell you that not Now, they don't open the law. Instead of you to prove to them, tell you, you know, you to the number one. I don't know for today, they, they do protest, they even, you take your eyes and see us. Where are we going to begin to have everywhere now? You know, you just, you know, you just stop us. You know, stop us. My dad, you know, stop us. But I know no pastor, then he was pretending, but he doesn't even know what is the talk for them. Yeah, friend. When I see Psalm 53, from verse 1 to end, Psalm 50, we can't let it go. Okay, hold on, eh? That man that was a text for you, to go to Kaka, our papa, like that, even know it. Even, even crayfish. Everything that you just create them. Now, whatever the great and my son will tell you, tell me. We're going to make the next generation to come. I have to 50 years, we don't come. We don't die about this war. Then our own generation, the next generation to come, we get them. My son is a hacker, I can't stop a match. My son is a hacker. My son is a hacker, you can't see car. I don't come from a proper office, just for the land of the nation. Get a bomb. Not for the country, they have a lot. They have a lot of people. You see, second time, first time, first, first time, that's the system from that one to end. And the same first time, chapter 17, from verse 1 to end. Now, one leader, the MPA was 10 feet. You see, Flanny, 26, back and forth. Why is my wife 10 to 10 feet? When I say, she does this, go on. I did 10 to 10 feet. For Biafra, like, before that, 26, they don't even know the law. Biafra, I was saying, I'm not going to get away. Young man, I saw this governor, saw this state. Now, the MPA, I'm not going to see the people who work for Sakari, our leader. So, when they pass out for the name of the Now, our own people, so immediately we start killing all of them. From this life, that. What? They want, because these people get water for weekend. Mother, they don't say this. These people don't spend for weekend. When they give them money, they will carry them on the go to talk for someone to do it for. Carry their children, put there. Come, come here, come post for us. Carry, when we talk, they will carry, show that kill us. They have to show them all your brother. Emma, I want. Dara. Come and take it there. On the other side, you have to follow. On the other side, you have to follow. That's why you have to show good health. Because you have to number one. When you have to show good health, you have to follow. Like that, no, you have to follow. Now, you have to follow. 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 Thank you very much for that your contribution. Uh, we love it.
call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Uh, Victor May should uh, learn his lesson. If anything is an example of what is about to come, he learned it yesterday. And their friends follow suit. The message should be loud and clear. No election. None. <coughs> let, them in, let them understand what we are saying. No election. Caller, your name and where you calling from? Good morning, sir. And I'm in Dewo. Good morning. Yeah. I salute from here. Welcome. Good morning to all dear friends. I salute. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Onion Du. Good morning. We are making you proud out here. Um, our Houston protest went really well. Our women showed and our, also our men. Women showed up in mass with their children. So children were, um, you know, telling British uh, citizens to uh, British uh, embassy to release their uncle, that their uncle has to come out from there. He hasn't done anything wrong. So um, we are looking forward to the next uh, protest on the 23rd. Tell all your neighbors, bring your children again, you know, just let's uh, continue to give them pressure. To my greatest surprise, apparently the British uh, security man that was there didn't know that Onyendu was arrested. So, Madam Katran Laina Lang, whatever your name is, the ambassador to Nigeria, by sitting on the information happening over there, British uh, embassy in Houston didn't know what is going on in Nigeria. But I urge everybody, all British people giving you advice, to Britain to Nigeria. You don't want another civil war in that country. Release Mazin and the Kalo that was born in Biafra and holding your passport. He hasn't done anything wrong. You have to release him. Release him so that you don't cause any trouble. Already the country is in, in is in confusion. This morning they approved the electronic voting or trying to approve it and everybody walked out. Everybody's angry. We have given five billion to cattle ranchers in Castina. Why people cannot buy common Panadol to give to their children? They can't go to health care. Yesterday I lost a dear friend in in in, in a hospital over there because of health care. Only when they told us in the past, don't go to federal hospitals, don't go to UPTH, they kill us. It's a federal hospital. So the, the federal funds them. And is another sort of the population there. Don't go to the federal hospital in Owerri. All of the federal hospitals stay away from them, and and uh, they just continue to use it to kill us. Put the pressure on. What happened at Anambra Mbuka is a lesson for all the sabo. All the sabo I see uh, someone trying to collect one thousand naira oh, or yeah. three thousand naira. Oh yeah. It, they should have beaten him to death. They should have beaten him to death. So oh, I'm sure really they did. I'm sure they were waiting for the video to be over. All you sabo, I just repeat you now. Sabo, sabo, sabo. Little sabo, big sabo. Look, Biafra is even more. It is the tune of the spirit. I know the encounter when I heard only this first voice. I know what I encountered in 2015. It is not something that you play with. You know, if you take the 3,000 naira from them and buy in Domi, how long will that feed you? You know, but you, you, you can't buy Panadol, you can't have electricity, you're drinking toilet water, you have safety in your house, you have bubble in the same place. When you bath, you bath with toilet water. When you cook, you cook with toilet water. When you drink tap water, you're drinking tap water. What What is this basic facility that... Or, or, that every uh, uh, country gets. Only in this there, he doesn't need to do anything for any of us. He's comfortable enough to live in the UK and make regular money and live like a regular person. But here he is today, taking torture for you and I, for our children that are yet unborn, to enjoy what proper life is. And for you, Sabos, I know some of you haven't tasted freedom. And that is why you think when they give you 20,000 or 50,000 that you will change your life. 
There is nothing worth more than freedom. It is something that you cannot buy. I can get at one o'clock in the place that I am and drive and buy food and come back. I won't have to worry about policeman or stopping me on the road. Or, or, or maybe I'm rather meeting me one o'clock in the morning. And I can comfortably pack my car in the parking lot and go and buy what I want and come home. That is what OMB is fighting for. I can I send my children to public school where the rich is going and the poor is going. And the same teacher, teach all of them. There is no price and you separate children and, and, and your own teacher and your own class will call out to rich children and give them personal uh, um, lessons so that their parents will give them money. It is the, Biafra, it's the, the new Biafra that we are looking for. But I thank uh, Buhari for giving Kasuna uh, 5 billion this morning for cow, people that own cow. There are people that own cow to protect their cow. Meanwhile, we are there in, in our own place we can eat. So, Sabo, they there. You, you, Biafra will come whether in or out. I, and then uh, finally, I know other people want to talk. Finally, I, those of, I don't know who is the leader of. Uh, I, I, I haven't elected any leader in Biafra land, so I can't call anyone leader. But those ones that think that they are Biafra leaders, this is your opportunity to stand up and, and, and be counted. If they can chase that man from Mumbuka out of that Mumbuka, who are you? Who are you? Did you? If you watch the new video and see millions of people just in a small market chasing those people out, this is your time. Thank you, all dear friends. You will all live and you will not die. So standing up for the truth, you know, truth, truth. We don't want money but freedom. We, uh, we want our children to taste freedom. I want my children to live the same life that my parents gave me. I can't give my, my children the same life that my parents gave me in, in, in Biafra land. And they must face it. Freedom is what we're asking for. All help Biafra. Wherever you do, don't succumb. We are just at the 99.9.9. .9. We are at the finish line and Biafra will come. Thank you, David. Thank you for the good work. Thank you for spreading the gospel. Thank you, everyone. All must help Biafra. Uh, Biafra, thank you very much. Thank yes, you. yes. I will play that audio for that uh, victim made uh, encounter. And uh, that guy that wanted uh, two thousand naira, he, he needs to be educated, not killing him. He needs to be lectured as to the benefit, as to the benefit of not taking money. Don't kill him. Just lecture him. So that you will understand. Welcome. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning from here. Now, see, this, is, this, is, this is radio. This is English program. Maze. 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 Kenya, <laughs> Nahagafro <laughs> 
Wego, Ogiri, and Yego, because what people are all like, they have for you whatever that kind of work on the years. So you could get out on your regimen and do. Ndewo, I have a problem with your um, contribution because you spoke it uh, in a non-international uh, anyway. Let's let's leave it there. Um, there's a reason why I'm going to let it pass. Uh, so, call out your name and where you call it from. Call out your name and where you call it from. Okay, that line has cut off. Um, let me let me get this call. Call your name and where you calling from? Yes. Yes. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, dear friends, good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. My name is Haiti for Boefi. Haiti for Boefi is from Marichuku. I live in Washington, D.C. I am here today for special announcements. Baby. Can, you, can you get me? We are hearing you. You are hearing me, sir. Okay. But before I proceed, before I proceed, I will um, I will thank uh, Chuko Kikabiyama what he is doing for us. He will never leave us perish. He is fighting for us, and he will get us through. Everything about um, Mazen and the Talon, Chuko Kikabiyama has already taken care of and taken the control. But we have to do our part. This is why I am here today. We have emergency Zoom fundraising tomorrow. I repeat again. We have emergency Zoom fundraising tomorrow worldwide it is very important everybody come in and make contribution no matter how small it is it will take us somewhere therefore brothers and sisters dear friends this is the time Mazenan de Carlo need us we cannot disappoint him and the family. They have done enough for us. Please come in to the Zoom fundraising and make your contribution. For those who don't have the information yet, here is the information. The meeting ID, if you have them there, please write it down. The number is 86 eight nine eight two six eight zero five five password no passcode now let me repeat again the id number eight six eight nine eight two six eight zero five five the passcode is eight zero Two five zero six, and the time is seven p.m. Biafra time, which is two o'clock here Eastern time. I want everybody to show up, please, and you are gonna get more information when you come in. That's all I can say here now. Um, my number is um, two o two seven o one seven seven three seven. Please, this is the time to help our, our leader to get out from that mess. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for being
Mazaluzi. Thank you very much. Thank you. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Caller, your name and where you calling from? Mazaluzi. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Good morning, good man. God bless you. Let me say, man, go next checker. I am calling from United States of America, uh, personally Washington DC, of which Washington DC, Chief Obafi is uh, the uh, coordinator of Washington DC, and uh, he is the one that is announcing for the Zoom. I want to add my voice to what Chief Obafi is saying. For all those people who have been crying, imagine them, they can imagine them, they can remember. Now, imagine that the can is in the jail, and then we are working with all the lawyers and everything that we can do so that he will be out. And we need money now. It is an emergency money. And this is the reason why we are having this Zoom meeting. Because everything that we are going to do now, in order to let Onion do out of where he is, it needs money. I am telling you. Everything, anybody that you know that you love not the can. You've been crying and then you've been weeping because Nandi Khan was locked up. Now we have to do it in cash. That is money. You have to come in. We're not asking for much. No matter how little it is, then definitely we have to support and make sure that our union do this out. This is our priority now. The priority is the fundraising to raise an emergency emergency fund so that we can get our union do out. Remember, everything, ego, ego, money, that is what it is. The lawyers, money, everything we are doing, money. It is now that we need everybody to participate. No matter how much money you can contribute, you have to do that. So, Maz, having said this, the only chief uh, uh, have given the, you know, the number if you want to enter the Zoom. But definitely, if you go in the Facebook and then uh, you know you call chief of number, then he can give you if you didn't get it right. So, Maz. I want to use this opportunity again to talk to the youth of Nigeria, the youth, their friends, the indigenous people in the country and call Nigeria the youth. I want to tell them now that when we are talking about uh, the Nigeria as we see it, we are talking about the people that have hijacked the Nigeria. I want to, for them to understand that the Fulani is a nation, that like you have a nation of uh, you know, France or you have a nation of uh, you know, uh, Ghana or have a nation of any other country. Fulani is a nation. But the only thing is that Fulani do not occupy a space. They don't have a space in Africa that is called Fulani nation. Just you, like you have a Ghana nation. They don't have. So what they do is that they put, they are in every part of uh, the West Africa, but they stay as a nation. For the fact that they represent, they have representative in Nigeria, they have representative in Ghana, they have representative in all the West African countries, but it is still Fulani Nation. So everything they are doing is that they are doing for the interest of the Fulani Nation. The people who are there, they are bringing to come and kill you, the police, the army, they are bringing to kill you, and the people from the Fulani Nation, they are French speaking. They speak French, they speak other, other you know, voice, they, I mean, languages. So these are the people that are bringing to kill you. So I am asking you and I am telling you to stand your ground because we, the indigenous people in that contention called Nigeria, when I mean, I mean the Biafras, I mean the Oduduwas, I mean the people from the, you know, the Middle Belt, I mean people from Southern Kaduna, people from Bruno, all the youth, you all have to come out and stand by Inam Dikano. Because if you don't remove the Fulanese from Nigeria affair, then it will continue the way it is. We will continue to die every time. Your children will not have a space. You will be, you know, having all these premature deaths, and then nothing will be working out for you. You don't need to be going to church and wasting your money and be giving to them that are offering so that they can change your destiny. The people that have stolen your destiny are the Fulanese and all these politicians. And again, I am telling the Biafras, you know, now, believe me, we are coming home to either sanctify our home because that is where all our problems are. All these politicians that claim that they are going to represent you. All these people that say that they are your speak, they speak for you. No, we are going. It is high time now we start. We are going to clean the bush. We must surely clean these people by all means necessary. Believe me, this is not something that we have to wait for somebody to give you an order. 
You don't have to wait for Jamdi Khadi to give you an order. You, your mother has been killed, your father has been killed, your sister has been raped. It is high time you come out now and show it by coming after all these politicians, all these people among us, all these people that have been killing us, all these people that have mortgaged our life for nothing, all these people that are the untimely debt that we have. They have made you an orphan, they have made you a widow. It's high time we don't fight them. These are the people who can fight, we can do it ourselves. We don't need to go. We have to, before you, you have to clean the bush. You have to remove the old circle in your home before you can go out to go and fight in other places. Our home now, we have to go from home to home. We have to look at them. We have to go after them. And we have to just make sure that we take care of them. Because they are the ones that are killing us. They are the ones that are killing us. They are the ones that are selling us. And they are the ones the one that are mortgaging our lives for nothing. So that is what I want you to do. We have to do it and we must show the bush. And the time has come for us to do it. So please, I am calling you if you are in America. I want you to rise up now. Now that you are talking about the Zoom, you have to come and show your face. You cannot be hiding. You cannot be hiding your head under the sand. Other people are suffering. And people are suffering back home. You have people who are coming every day, sleepless night, and then we are talking, and then people who are broadcasting are broadcasting, and then people who are dying are, are people who are carrying the load on our head. Why we have our brothers here who are having good time. We are calling upon you. If you have any money, whatever that you have, bring it because it is the matter of life or death. This is not politics that we are playing in Nigeria. Our people are being killed. Look at what they did in Oladipo or Ayadipo or whatever they call it, call it in Lagos. Look at how they went over there and then they start shooting. Shooting gun everywhere. They don't know whom they, you know, whom they will kill. For the people that think that they are not happy or but you are a girlfriend. I am telling you, you see how they come over there and then they shoot. You never know when they are going to shoot you. You are a deaf, whether you like it or not, deaf friend is a deaf friend. Uh, okay? Then I'm telling you, Ayamini is Ayamini, whether you like it or not. So when they are looking for you, they will kill you. And you are in the middle bed. But you have to stand up. Oh, we are doing this thing and we are in it for all. So Mazi, thank you. God bless you, Mazi. God bless you too. Thank you very much. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven. 0848. You have people at the rally. How can they consciously stand up to tell you to come and vote? Campaigning for who? For them to do what? To continue to enslave you and hand you over to the Fulanis. And they have no shame. They have no shame. Call her your name and where you calling from. Good morning. Good morning from here. Yes. Yes. My name is uh, Chuka. I'm coming from the uh, land. I'm thanking you so much for all the good things you people have been doing for the restoration of our dear country, Yafra. So thank you so much for everything. So I want to contribute to the program of today. I listen to everything you have said. But... Uh, <coughs> I will just make it uh, snappy so that it will accommodate other people. You see, what I want to say is that uh, our people should remain resolute. They should remain united in IPOB. They should remain united and resolute and focus. They should not allow the full and new things to discharge their attention. They should not allow anything now that's coming out of the view of Nigeria to discharge their attention. They, will, they should remain their focus in restoration of uh, the Afra. And this the holding of our, our leader, Kinan is uh, is they are just holding him for nothing. They, ha they have no case against him, they have no charge against him. Therefore, he should be released unconditional because they have committed atrocity against humanity, against God. The biggest atrocity they can, can commit against uh, any country. That is what they have committed. Extra, uh, extraordinary rendition. It's a very big atrocity. So they have no case because they have no case. Anything they place or say that, they, that this is what he has committed, this is what they are charging him for. It's nonsense. Because they have no case against him. And they, we are telling them that they should release him. And it is a must. It is a must. They should release him. And the other thing I want to say is that our these two co politicians in our land in Eastern land, in Igbo land in particular. These politicians, 
we know them. We know where they live. We know their house. We know their brother. We know their sister. Are we are, are we are giving them warning? I am telling them that from now to that consists of uh, 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 ju uh, July that the case will come out. If they don't release him and the camera, you will be going to the house one after the other. I don't want to know. It is a promise. It is not a threat. They are the ones that put him there. They are the ones that donated money to put him there. Therefore, they should come together and go there and be negotiate with them. Since Shiki, Shiki Gumi knows how to negotiate with the bad beat, Boko Haram, all this, they have this uh, intellectual, this politician, this criminal we have in our midst, they should go to our project and negotiate with the full army government. If they don't do it from now, they will begin to be hearing the sound. We will go into the house one after the other because the man they are holding is not a freedom is not a crime for you to speak for your freedom. It's a crime. It is a free thing that God gives to you. Almighty God gives to anything he created. So you start with one being that you come to hold your freedom. Eh? The most religious thing is a must. And the Britons are collaborators of this crime. That's why they are not saying anything. So, for them to prove that they are innocent, they are not part of this uh, uh, holding of our leader, they must go there and negotiate and let him release because the man commits no offense. Because since they arrested this man, they have not said anything. They are silent, like cold water, meaning that they know what happened. And we, 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 our patient is half, half being exhausted. We are not going to take it. We, the youth of the Afra, we go after them. We will be killing them silently. So if they don't negotiate to release him from now to that city, they will be to hear from us. So Martin, uh, I will say thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, let me uh, give you a take as to uh, the things we deal with. They come to you. They take your money, they get your resources, and they send it to Kathanchan. But to you, they send you the cow and the cattle. But you don't see it. You don't see it. What you find the fulani? No gonna goza. Yes, no gonna goza. Police never first caught on aga. Yes, you know what, yeah? Obodetri Kazim Bakali Mado. You know what, yeah? Kefi na kuari nuzo. No gonna go mbo. You moji. What, yeah? What, yeah? Nei te efi na bo. Eti te efi muana mado. Obodetri Kazim. Police never first caught on aga. Police never first caught. Just now, watch. No, you can't try on him here. Just now, what should you can't try on him here? Now, what should you can't try on him here? Oh, but if you come back, tell him, mother, army, DSS police, army police, and then Mr. Scott, let it be more than a mother. Here, I'm going to tell you, the Satan governor's come out of the way. He's in the Satan governor's way, give him. Color your name and where you call it from. Bobby, good morning, sir. Good morning. Oh, it is honor and it's also my pleasure speaking to the holy temple of Radio Biafra this morning. Bobby, I'm also using this opportunity to say thank you for all you have been doing for your people of Biafra. I thank Elohim for your life. I thank Elohim for your faithfulness in this struggle. I thank Elohim for the strength he has been given to you to preach on this gospel. May you continue and never relent. So shall it be upon your life. He said, he said, Marvin, I'm also using this opportunity to thank everybody that I stated on the last rally who did on British, British 
consulate two days ago. It was awesome. It was so mad to see that people that were passing all passed by. They were imagining what is going on here. Even those coming up from the offices of that British office, they were, some of them, when you look at their faces, you will see the anger in them. Even some of the officers, they called to protect them and guide them. If you look at so many of their faces, they ain't happy. See human beings. Roasted like barbecue chicken. When they saw these poor creatures, you can tell it on their face. You know, they are all on duty. There are certain things they cannot say or speak or, you know, react on. But you can see the, 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 the sober in their faces. Anyway, we thank Elohim. I'm also using this opportunity. This time is time for rally, rally, rally. There is oncoming rally next week also. Please, please, in fact, oh God, have mercy on me. I am not begging anybody to come out. If you like it, come out. If you don't like, continue to stay in your bedroom and be yapping. One thing that ensure that none of you, I said, none of you, one million and one of you, are not yet born to stop the coming of the other. If you like, yeah, 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 you cannot stop the coming of the other because it is written. Elohim said in the Holy Book of Torah, that instead of his word will not come to pass, it is better that the heaven and earth, and this earth will come to end. His word must surely come to pass. So he has ordained that the Afra, the Afra, the Afra is here. Nothing. All the tabletuas, nothing, all the autolatuas, nothing, all the evil politicians, nothing, British sucking demons, this demon of British will not stop the Afra from coming because it is ordained. We are going home. Whether they like it or not, we are going home. For sure and sure, our leader. Oyendu, what in a paper and manu? Mabi, Namudo, Israel, Oku, Kanu, who come out victoriously. He will come out victoriously. The plans of the enemies will surely fall back to their heads and their family. And they all will use their heads to carry their evil. Britain, you blood. Sucking demons, you British, you blood sucking demons. Tell the world, I ask you, tell the world what you produce. The oil in the North Sea, it is not in Buckingham Palace. It is in Scottish soil. British, tell the world what you produce. At least if you come to America, you will see what America produces here and there. If you go in search of Texas, you will see all your world everywhere. They know if they in the United States of America what they produce, what they do, and what they are living up to. British, tell the world what you produce. The oil that is in Nazi, I know it very well. It is in Scottish land. In Elizabeth, you are an English woman. Tell the world what English people produce. It's not from the blood of innocent people that you people are living up on. You blood sucking demons, British. Your days are past approaching. They cannot 
thing that will befall you, you will not escape it. The calamity that will befall down down the street, it is near, you all will see it. Because you have all trespassed so much that your cup has run it over. The sin of Buckingham Palace, the sin of Ben Downey Street will cut up on you people very, very soon. British, British, tell the world what you produce. If you go to the land of America, you will see what they produce. You all are living on the blood of innocent Pierpons. You say Africa is poor, but all your wealth, all your sustainability came from the soil of Africa. You blood sucking demons, British. Your days are fast approaching. All of you will destroy all of you. All your accomplices, all of you will destroy them. All your allies, all of you will destroy all of you. None of you will go scot free because. His anger is here now. British will see this. The world will see that we are the two children of Elohim. We will come up victoriously. Yabi, taking our leader's name. Do you know what you are doing? Do you know what you are doing to yourself? Whether you are in IPOB, whether you are in Biafra land, whether you are in diaspora, I guarantee you that all of you, your strength will cut up on all of you. Keep pretending that you are with Mazen and the Kami. Keep pretending that you are in this struggle. Keep pretending that you are a genuine freedom fighter. Keep pretending, 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 pretending. You all will pay for your sins you have committed in this struggle. All of you, all of you, man, 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 you, you all will pay for your sins. We know all of you. You know yourself. All of you will destroy all of you. We will come and destroy of you. Nothing will happen to us. Those that are the new freedom fighters, fight on! Don't relent. Fight on! All of you will strengthen each and every one of you. Thank you. All of you will strengthen each and every one of you. So I need you upon your life. Mazi, may Elohim continue to bless you. Bless you too. We will put it everything. I will put it all my strength in this struggle until the last day that we will go home and say, Iyani Neme, Iyem Mo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kola, your name and where you're calling from. Kola, your name and where you're calling from. Kola, go ahead. Yeah, And I hear from Omaka and other province of Biafraland. May uh, tomorrow always be better than you are today. I appreciate our beloved leader Mazin and Yoko Kalo, Kamalo, Oshugu Preza, and Omem Rezu. Wherever you are in that day, you said Don Jom. We appreciate and we pray that Chuko Kabiama will continue to give you divine protection there. Divine guardian, divine healing, divine anointing, divine grace, divine wisdom to be able to finish that which he put in your hand. And be friends all over the world, fanaticals, men of all radicals. Our DOA that is holding this mantle now, we appreciate all of you. Yeah, man, there's no this time is not time of too much talking, it's time of action, action. We appreciate every fanatical doing the need for now because our warning do is in. If you are fanatical, if you are hardcore, I don't think you can eat food and digest it very well now because we are in a bad situations. I have to appreciate our brothers, Mazi, at Mboko Bosi. When I was in Willis Pepper, that's where we go and buy, pass and go back. But they forget one thing. They're tired, but they never did uh, up to my expectation. 
I never expected that uh, Victor man will work out a life there. Because uh, anywhere they are telling papers, they know what I mean. All of them know what I mean. This is uh, this is uh, iron, 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 iron. And uh, our people should learn one thing. All of you dealing on these papers, you know what I mean. You know what is iron. It would iron a yola. Why not you use that? That is your weapon there. Use it on that, those idiots. But we pray that it will never happen again in Biafra land. Because already said there will be no election, especially now that the evil politicians, evil billionaires, evil businessmen has contributed a billion naira for the rendition of our mass in Nandokokalo. So that you said, don't join, he is now. But they forgot one thing. All of them are Biafra, so by birth and by inclination, but we assure them, no sabo, no sabo, by grace of Elohim, no sabo will go free in that Biafra land. Biafra must come, but we do our own. And likewise, our people are working very hard now to make sure that this period that Onyendo is in, that every of our radio everywhere must start talking again. And by grace of God, we believe that it's them and uh, and uh, Osaka and all of them by end of tomorrow I think all of them will be on. Then we will first more and other place, supply every other place that is having problem. This is the time of doing work. It's not time of too much talking. Let everybody grow warranty a care of mana. If you know what you can do now, do it very very well now. It's not time of talking. It's not time of quarrelling. It's a time of cohesion, 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 cohesion. I leave it briefly and there was a remain okay for it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. My brother was lamenting about the cows. Thousands of them being escorted by the military, by the police, by the DSS. They are rubbing cow shit on your face. While in Kapanchan, they are borrowing 5.6 billion to improve the area. And who will pay you? And then you get your sons. Who cannot address the issue of the cows taking over your roads? They will, they will tell you to come and vote. They will tell you to come and campaign for them. And you think they are with you. They are against you. Call out your name and where you call it from. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, <clears throat> your radio is on. You have a delay. Uh, turn turn off your radio. You have a delay. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Apostle Mary Nathaniel. But my real name is more than Nathaniel. I'm, I'm calling from Equatoria again. I'm a Biafran. Calling from Equatoria again. Go ahead, we are listening. Hello? We are listening to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Please. I just I just want to use uh, this opportunity first of all to make it clear to we dear friends and lover of freedom and all leaders of the world. All leaders of the world that Desh that it is true that Fulanese are trying to Islamatize Nigeria to turn Nigeria into an Isla Islamic nation. Just last month, just last month, a brother from Burkina Faso, a brother from Burkina Faso, a, a, a neighbor of mine, told me that their plan, because the person is, is a Fulani man, is a Muslim, he told me clearly that the plan is to turn Nigeria into Islamic nation. That the plan is to make Nigeria to be like Saudi Arabia. That is the plan. And they are closely and gently getting there. That they are getting to the point. And I started imagining myself. This person that I'm speaking of have never been in Nigeria before. 
or how did the villain if the if it is not true that time I then I, I, I did a something I call flashback flashback memory to our leaders for uh, uh, teaching where he said that they are trying to Islamatize Nigeria and many people couldn't believe it just two weeks ago another person from Mali because right now I'm residing in Equatoria in Central Africa located in Central Africa region so that friend of mine by name of Mohammed she repeated the same thing so I, I took a pledge that I must find a way to speak to call in in Radio Biafra and make it that people should be convinced that it is true, it is no more a rumor, it is a confirmed fact that they are trying to Islamize Nigeria. That is my number one point. That's my number one point. So, my brother, we don't have time. You better hurry up. So, we, we, we don't have time. Hurry up. Oh, okay, no, no. No problem. no problem, sir. So, that is no more a rumor, it is a fact. So, those who say, who say that, no, we are lying, that we are lying, we actually we are lying, is not a lie, it's a fact. That is my point, that is the point I want to prove there, number one. Then number two, I want to use this opportunity and extend my greeting to our able leader, Mazi Namonde Kano. I always pray for him and I pray that you could tell him with his infinite mercy and love we be with him. Thank you. I wrote a song for him and a prayer. But I will come again. Next time we are online, I will come again to thank you to very sing much. the song. Thank you. Color your name and where you call it Kola, your name. Oh, yeah, good morning. Good morning from here. Yeah. Uh, please, uh, my name is uh, Chijok. I'm calling from New Jersey. Welcome, Chijok. Uh, my brother, thank you for for your hard working. All you are doing for Biafra. I want to thank Chikuru Kabiama. I want to bless his name for the love he has for what they are only in the Madam and the love he has for Biafra. Um, based on what our brother just said now, it's not a it's not a new thing or a news anymore. Everybody in the zoo knows the plans of planning. So everybody knows that. Even people that is not from the area called the zoo, they know the plan. So everybody knows it. Even the whole world knows about it. The plans of planning. So Let's forget about that. And that's why we have to come together to fight to restore our Biafra. Biafra, please, I want you, whatever you are doing, to make sure that the Biafra is restored. We have to double it now. We have to add more effort. The zoo has our our leader thought that that will make us to back down or make all that will weak our our strength they doesn't know that the more they hit us hard the more we get more stronger like myself i have made more more than ever when if when when do was when they don't do was it with the zoo right now i'm i'm making more movement more than what i have been doing before to make sure that the Biafra is restored, to make sure that the killing and the plans of the Janjaweez will never prevail in the land of Biafra. So I urge all Biafrans, please, whatever you are doing, please, if you are maybe spending like two hours or three hours to go message or do details for Biafra to be restored, please, can you make it up, at least add more, make it 10 hours. That is what I did. I will never stop, I will never sleep until Biafra is restored. And nobody under this earth can make, can tell me to stop. Even Martin Nandikano cannot tell me to stop. I will not stop. Whoever can tell me to stop, I will, I will tear that person down. 
So Biafra's, what we need is only Biafra, 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 and the matter now the candle must be released, whether they like it or not, because they did not do anything. So wherever you are, forget the gossip, forget the, the whatever the social media are saying there or what their propaganda, forget about it. Keep on pushing, do whatever you're supposed to do, and leave the rest of Chukwuka Kadiyama. Please, and do not stop, uh, stop accusing people or stop pointing finger to people. Let's focus on our enemy. Our common enemy is the Fulani Janjaweez, and those who uh, are the politicians we have in Biafra land. They are our enemies. If Britain will not come and to tell us to take our Biafra, or to listen, it's we really are the ones to take it and to restore it. Please, let us be the useful. Let us stop complaining here and there. If you know what you need to do, do it. If you have a, a very important information, then don't do not come on the radio to announce it. It's not the people's call. If, if there is no country, there is no state, there is no city, there is no IPOB. Then we talk to them, then they will channel you where you can hear your complaint. This is important information. Please, we should stop coming to our next radio to let the flow to know the next thing we have to do or the next thing you have to do in your city or your country where you reside in your residence. Please, we have to question ourselves. Only, there is nothing we can do, and we need to have done everything we can be able to do for their friends. There is nothing that we remain, that we remain. We have done everything, we have finished this work. So it's left for us to, to conclude, to make sure that everything comes to reality. And by the grace of Chuko Kadiyama, we are there. And we should that Chuko Kadiyama should be will be restored. Biafra will be restored. Thank you, Mazda Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, our leader has done a lot and we are taking it over from here we will conclude what he started we are not going to disappoint him if they think uh, kidnapping if they think engaging in um, extraordinary rendition will dampen us I think they, they have learned the hard way and for the unscrupulous elements um, that tried to cause uh, confusion by putting out false information as, uh, as it is nature has a way we have a way of uh, correcting and um, correcting them and also uh, I think today's um, I think the US is coming on today at 7 p.m. Um, Chike Dozen will be on the air today 7 p.m. Um, most of these things at www.ipobusa.org that's where you donate for ESA they are still there they are still there they need to be taken care of now you see uh, what they do our people are understanding what we've been talking about these politicians are your enemies these politicians are the ones they sold there. Look at that young man crying about the cows. Thousands of them roaming this road. And they are busy siphoning your money to Kafancha, Sokoto, Daura. And we are here watching. Call her your name and where you calling from. Uh, my name is Northern Nathaniel Chukudu, popularly known as Apostle Mazi, Mary Nathaniel. I have called before. I need one thing. There is something I want to confirm, please. There is a news speculating, speculating that uh, the zoo government, known as Nigeria government, have postponed the hearing, keeping a hearing of the case of our leader. So I want to know if the news is true or false, please. I don't know. I've not had it. Um, it's like a question, please. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. If it is, I've not had it. It would not surprise me anyway. Please, I can't hear you. I said I don't know. I've not come across that. And uh, if it is, we're going to confirm it in a next few days. Even the next broadcast will confirm it. Okay, in the next few days, right? Uh, the next broadcast can confirm uh, it. I don't know. I'm on the air already. So, uh, you, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Thank you. Uh, we are having uh, to come towards the end of the program. Uh, let me. The cow stuff interests me a lot, you know. Call her your name and where you call it from. My dear, love you. Good evening from here, Japan. Good morning, welcome. Go ahead. Asia Patego. Uh, I told you, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm Kenakoke, I don't know if I'm going to be a new one. 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 I'm going to Abu Makaka, who I feel be. If you know you're not going to be a wine anymore, I get eleven nine canoe. Let be a potato. Not nine the canoe. Let be a line open a knee. Where are you, Kumakia? Talk a good watch in a kit. Check a good thing here, you have a caca. Pop on where? Who I feel be on the candy for the Chasuburu? Nke Ndai na maro, adi ane la ya lai, ati kopo, obo ne lo wa, ya bo ndo obo na hana ndi fula ni, wola wana politician, meje meni, amre weni, hara pondi ati obi, obo ni hai na haji koro, ndi e woma ze, tuko ke adi ama gozye di, gozye di ati obi ni ne ne lo wa ni ne babu buru, gozye ma ze, isa se le si, ina ande kano, wa ati neke, ndi e wona, ndi e wona. Yeah. Uh, there is something um, we must understand. We can come here and uh, sensitize you. We can come here and let you know what you see, what you hear, what you experience. Is your lesson. That's your lesson. What are you going to do about it? Somebody is single handedly taking over your land, your resources, everything you have. And you're telling us to come and vote, to bolster the same person. The same person taking over your resources. Have to, you have to act decisively. Call her your name and where you calling from. Marcy, good afternoon from here. Good morning. Thank you very much, Marcy. I appreciate it for a good job. I appreciate our leader, Hamadika, anywhere you are. The angels of uh, Chief of Stadium are guiding you. 
and then uh, the other one will go ahead and see. Bazi, I remain your brother. So I'm calling you from my location. Bazi, I want to say something regarding our people. I want our people to understand this very clearly today. Being on the screen, they put into one. Please, the other there is something I now find out. We see that and calculate it very well. And then, um, now they are asked that um, there is a mistake somewhere. You know the mistake? The other please stop telling, stop telling the other who are doing their business all over the zoo to come back to home. Stop, stop telling them to bring back their business. It is not encouraging. And then it's not helping. Stop telling them to bring back their business. You know why? In my, uh, before the genocide against our people, our, our late dream of the Mogu Jibu, may so rest in peace. We ask our people to come down to avoid killing of them. What is happening now? Why I'm saying these things? I want you to be in the record that the whole world knows the truth. That plan, what is happening now? Right. What is happening now is exactly what was happening during that time when our leader committed to anymore. He asked our people, stop killing his people. Stop. He asked to like, Nigeria said, stop killing his people. And you know what? They come black eyes. They were massacring our people in the west, in the east, in the north. Everywhere in Nigeria, they were killing our people. He has started repeating himself again now. You can see it in Mushi, in a the, in the, in the way evil people are dreading. Pulani soldiers went there and shoot shot our tents. They shot our people. Now, you know why I start telling our people, stop telling our people to come back home. You know why? Because our people come back home. Then they fought the war in our in our house. The war was fought in our house. Their business was going on in Lagos. Business was going, Kano was enjoying the people we are floating, they were enjoying going to school and why they were killing us. Now, our people in, 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 in uh, everywhere you are trading, I have gone and keep in your shop. I'll come out of that area. Because we are not going to allow what happened in 1970 to repeat itself. Because we all trip back home and they come there and kill us. We will make sure Sokoto bleach. We will make sure Sokoto bleach. We will make sure everywhere in Nigeria bleach. Because when you come back home, that was the mistake we made at that time. They come and kill us. But this time around, anywhere, anywhere, we are coming to town because it will affect the international community. When it, Lagos is burning down, Abuja is burning down, the UN, uh, UN and the uh, US, and uh, the whole world will call their citizens back. That is the only how the whole world will understand they have been killing us. Because it was happening in our area, they turn blind eyes. But this time around, don't let them, don't let them who cannot make that mistake again, they'll fight that war in our land again. No, 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 no. We will make sure every we are in the zoo we come we we, we collect it this time around. So that camera that there has been there is has been a long time so I have been killing Igbo. As long as he's an Igbo man, kill him, nobody will talk to him. <laughs> nobody will come to his rescue. As long as he's Igbo man, before him, nobody will come to his rescue. But I'm telling our people. One thing I was telling our people not to go. Because I will own to Lego. What will you go on? Nothing will happen to our leader. But if Fulani will not make that mistake, they know. If they make mistake and talk about Zenam Bekano, one will have to change any loan on my island. Because I'm not going to change anything on one. I want you to try. We will leave everything we have in this world and make sure that Nigeria never exists. And if we have to, they know it very well. Maji, as for this organization, as for this uh, politicians, you see, you see these politicians, eventually we will capture them. Eventually, eventually we will capture them. It's just a matter of time. If they can, they can pay any money to go and uh, 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 pay government for Kenya to catch our leader. But all I'm telling them, at the end of the day, when we go up and down, their son will be restored. We must leave the zoo, come and we must. Because as an evil man, why are you in one country, you say this is your country, they are killing you? Can't you see what's happening in Ladipo? Can't you see it? Can this thing happen in the Pulani uh, where they are selling their cow? And the Igbo man went there and shot them? Can it happen? It cannot happen. 
That is why I'm asking our people, stop telling our people to come back home. Thank you, man. It does, does not make any sense. As a thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Um, yeah. There are two parts to what you just said. Uh, coming home for your safety because where you are, you're not safe. It makes sense to come home. If you're safe, that's fine. They will kill, you'll be the first. It happened in uh, 1967, 1965, 1966, 1964. They started slaughtering you over there. I was a witness to how people were bundled home. They weren't prepared. I was a witness. We went to the airport, Port Harcourt Airport. Right from our school, we had to slick from the backyard. It's right, once you go through the backyard, you are right in the airport. We were curious. We went there and saw our people, our mothers, pregnant, some with one hand, some with babies, fresh babies, some bandaged heads, eyes gushed out. We witnessed that. It was through Panam that brought them home, Potakot Airport. It was a daily occurrence. So people have their own views. I'm shutting down the phone. I'm thinking um, I've had enough. Um, it will not end. Um, if you can't get to, you know, I shut the phone. Um, you do what you will do to be alive. Our people are in Lagos. You saw what happened the day before yesterday. They were doing, doing business. The Fulanese can just shut them, shut them up. Were they armed? No. Are they law abiding? Yes. But they paid the ult ultimate price. So, when you're not safe, find way to go home. Yeah, one thing is believing that you're in danger. Another thing is being in denial that you have nothing to fear. That fear is written all over you. We have news coming up. Islamization didn't start today. It started 1984 when IBB, whoever it was that registered you with the Islamic countries. I have said it again, go and check Islamic countries. You see Nigeria well represented. And this is why they are Islamizing you. You think you are just fighting Fulanese. You are fighting the Islamic countries. So those your foolish sons, chiefs, Ezes, Igwes, taking money. It is blood money. And we are going to pay for it. Release our leader. Release our leader. Unconditional. Britain, that's your responsibility. You should be taking over the legal aspect of it. If you believe that uh, he needs to be in court, you should take over the leg. Because as your citizen, that was kidnapped. And it shouldn't happen. You shouldn't let to stand there. You shouldn't let to stand. Um, <laughs> I have more things to say. Tomorrow the women will be on the air. They will be on the air tomorrow, so uh, <laughs> I'll try and get in some some words. The Islamization is in full swing. See, the South, the Middle Belt, all of you must not participate. You are playing with fire, and it's going to burn you. Burn you so severely, it might be first, second, and third degree burn then that will kill you. Our youth should confront these old corrupt politicians. No voting. No election campaigning. Avoid them. Um, at this time we'll come to the end uh, of our broadcast. Um, I thank all of you for contributing, listening, 
and that shows that you are interested in what is happening around you. And our leader, we cherish dearly and must stand behind him. Thanks to all of you. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye.